the first x gone through one square root which is x power 1 over 2 the second x gone through one square root and one cubic root which is x power 1 over 2 multiply 1 over 3 the third x gone through one square root one cubic root and the fourth root which means x power 1 over 2 multiply 1 over 3 multiply 1 over 4 and so on and so on rewrite it become a new format which is x power s where s is an infinite series we know e power z is equals to 1 plus z plus z power 2 over 2 factorial plus z power 3 over 3 factorial and so on e power 1 is almost identical to the s we get s equals to e minus 2 and integral is equals to x power e minus 2 Conclusion, the answer is x power e minus 1 divided by e minus 1 plus constant c.